Then they got out of the water and she gives back the baby to the mother and they exchange money. She walks away with no baby. I think she was pretending it was hers. Amber Heard has not been having a good time for the past couple of months. From losing the trial against Johnny Depp to being clowned online, she has been having it hard. But it looks like things may be about to get worse for her because she just got exposed for faking her own child. But why would you do something so messed up in the first place? Did Eve Barlow really help her to fake the baby? What did her ex-employee reveal about Amber's fake baby? Very few actors have gone from grace to grass as quickly as Amber Heard did. One moment, she was a Hollywood darling and wife of Johnny Depp. Then she was a hero and survivor of DV from one of the most famous men in the world. Then, the next moment, she had her dramatic fall when she was exposed by Johnny Depp and his legal team for lying about the DV when she was the one who hurt Johnny and not the other way around. But that was not the last thing about Amber that was revealed and left the world shocked. We found out that she may have been behind in the accidental death of her friend when they were teenagers. Her old mugshot was leaked, and we found out that Amber's driver's license had been suspended. This other leaked police document showed that the license suspension had something to do with the vehicular homicide department. Nothing was ever confirmed or denied, but these speculations remain quite interesting. Speaking of interesting, we also found out about Amber's weird friendship with billionaire Elon Musk. We all know about the allegations about how she allegedly cheated on Johnny Depp with Elon Musk and how Amber might have worked as a high-end escort for Elon before her marriage to Johnny. And there were even rumors that she used to recruit women for the wild parties thrown by the rich and powerful men in Hollywood. Amber's history with Elon Musk goes even deeper than this because there are even more interesting secrets that we found out about both of them, but we are going to get to that later. Now, Amber has been exposed by someone very close to her, and this might be the weirdest and most insane secret about Amber. Yes, even weirder than being a high-profile pimp. For a while now, there have been rumors that Amber doesn't really have a child and she is only pretending to have one for PR purposes. In June 2021, Amber announced on Instagram that she had welcomed a baby girl via surrogacy, saying, I'm so excited to share this news with you. Four years ago, I decided I wanted to have a child. I wanted to do it on my own terms. She continued, A part of me wants to uphold that my private life is none of anyone's business. I also get that the nature of my job compels me to take control of this. My daughter was born on April 8, 2021. Her name is Ona Pagehurt. She's the beginning of the rest of my life. Of course, there were comments from people questioning whether or not Amber was going to be a good mother. But over the months, these questions shifted slowly to people believing that Amber was lying about having a child and she was only doing it for attention and publicity. It's interesting that Amber rarely posts pictures of her daughter's face, which isn't all that weird because a lot of celebrities like to keep their kids out of the public eye. especially celebrities like Amber who get a lot of hate both offline and online. But people have taken this as a sign that Amber doesn't really have a child. Things got even crazier when an ex-employee of Amber confirmed this rumor. Recently, a photographer who once worked with Amber has come forward and exposed Amber of faking her baby. According to this photographer, Amber hired her to take pictures of Amber and a doll that she was going to pretend was her baby. The photographer said, About a year ago, Amber called me to her home in Yucca Valley to photograph her. I had no expectations on what would have unfolded, so it was just a regular job to me. The first thing that took me off guard was she was clearly drinking. There were bottles everywhere, and I thought that was strange for a new mother. Two other women were there as I came in, one with short brown hair and another who was blonde. The two women being referred to here are none other than Amber's rumored girlfriend Eve Barlow and Amber's sister Whitney. She continued, that's when the weirdest thing happened. Amber slurred for the woman with the brown hair, who I now know is Eve Barlow, to get the doll. Whitney got a box and Eve pulled out this hyper-realistic baby doll. They left me alone for a bit, and I was just staring at the doll, getting more and more creeped out. When she came back from Eve fixing her hair and wiping wine stains off her lips, that's when I told her that I required a fraction of my costs up front, which she refused to wire. I thanked her for her time and decided to bail. This claim seemed to confirm what a lot of people thought about Amber and her fake baby, especially when she was spotted out and about in Tel Aviv, Israel with an empty stroller. Many people believe that Amber is using the stroller for attention and to keep up with the fake stories about being a mother. But then, there were also people who supported her. And this is where we go back to the Elon Musk drama. For those who followed Amber, Amber's defamation trial against Johnny, we know that Elon refused to testify in the case, and this led to everyone wondering what he was trying to hide. This in turn led to more speculation that Elon may be the father of Amber's daughter. People who believe that Amber's daughter is real pointed out the rumors that were going around of Amber and Elon being involved in a quiet lawsuit. The lawsuit allegedly claims that Elon and Amber made frozen embryos, which Elon wanted to destroy, but Amber wanted to keep in hopes that she might have a baby one day. So people put two and two together and came to the conclusion that Amber got a certain 
surrogate to carry one of the embryos, and that is why Elon didn't want to testify in the trial. But now, more evidence has come up that has made things worse for Team Amber because she has just been exposed for renting a real baby for a photo shoot. If that sounds crazy, well, the actual facts of the shoot are even crazier. So a TikTok user posted this video of Amber taking pictures with a blonde-haired baby that was clearly not hers. I saw the whole trial. Do you understand? Out of nowhere, I go into the sea, I look to the side, and there was Amber Heard. Then they got out of the water, and she gives back the baby to the mother, and they exchange money. She walks away with no baby. I think she was pretending it was hers. So basically, Amber rented a child just for photo shoots, presumably so that she could pretend on social media that she had taken a trip with her daughter. It may have been easy to dismiss this as Amber handing her child over to the nanny after taking shots for Instagram, but the fact that she paid the woman and left immediately suggests that this is not the case. Interestingly, from Amber's pose with the baby, the child's face is hidden, which suggests that she might have been planning to post the pictures like she has been doing on Instagram. People have also pointed out that the baby changes sizes often, and it's not consistent with the way a normal baby grows. For example, she posted this picture in October 2021 and then posted this other picture in February 2022, and the difference is interesting. We're not outrightly saying that Amber is lying, we're just saying that it's interesting that the baby grew that much just in the space of four months. But this is where things get even more interesting because the mother of the alleged baby that Amber used for the photo shoot at the beach reached out to YouTuber Joseph Morris, and she made things even worse for Amber. She said, I have answered an ad on a job board and I'm tied for money. The ad was looking for a baby for a photo. They wanted her to be blonde with blue eyes. They told me to meet on the beach in Majorca and hand baby for 10. I was the one who filmed a video of Amber and sent it. I thought the whole thing was crazy and scary for my girl so I filmed it. The brown-haired woman I gave the baby to gave my girl a drink for tranquility. I did not agree with this. They gave the girl alcohol. I was scared and didn't say anything. It's unclear who the brown-haired woman is, but people are suspecting that she could be Amber's rumored girlfriend, Eve Barlow. And just when we thought that things were already so bad for Amber and couldn't possibly get any worse, they did because an anonymous source who is believed to be an ex-employee of Amber's has come forward to completely expose her for having a fake baby. The ex-employee said, I can confirm that Amber Heard does not have a baby. This whole surrogate thing is a complete and utter lie. She does not have a kid and rents or borrows a kid for her Instagram shots, and her stroller is a prop used to garner sympathy. You can't even match up the baby's faces across the shots. I am telling you, the whole thing is a lie. People here think she actually sold her embryos since they were from a so-called coveted gene pool or whatever, with Elon being the dad. But I can tell you right now, there's no baby living or traveling with her full time. It's all for a photo op. Of course, this sent the internet into a frenzy, and there were lots of comments like this one that said, personally, I think this is very possible. The timing was perfect for her to try to gain sympathy. Lol, I put absolutely nothing past this woman at this point. And this other comment that said, what won't she do to stay relevant? I have stopped paying attention to her. She doesn't deserve our attention. She's a liar and a destroyer and not worth my time. Actually, I just jumped on here to tell you that maybe you should try it if for no other reason reason then it will be a punishment to her. This last person clearly doesn't care for Amber at all because they said, watch, Amber will probably stage some sort of dramatic, messed up death of the baby, thinking the world will feel bad for her. After all, she does need to be the control freak and center of attention. I hope she wouldn't do that, but who knows. It goes without saying that Amber's reputation has suffered a major hit, and faking a baby might just be the lowest of the low. Seriously, how low can one person go for attention? Do you think Amber really faked her baby? And if you thought this entire drama was messy wait till you check this next video.